Alright, so I'm sure this isn't the video everybody wanted me to make today, but uh, I'm bored and I'm working on the Ranger getting a ray for a no-name nationals because you gotta have all your ducks in a row <laughs> when you're taking a 40-year-old, 35-year-old vehicle on a 500-mile road trip, right? Gotta have all your ducks in a row. So we gotta get things in order. And today we're working on... Uh, a phone charger, right? Because you get, I gotta be able to charge my phone and my GPS and whatever other doodads that I'll be bringing along to make sure I don't get lost, you know? And uh, well, I'll just show you. So the <laughs> cigarette lighter is looking kind of, kind of sorry. Like I don't, I don't trust this to work, right? So I was like, all right, I'll get, uh, I'll get this. I'll get a nice fancy. Fancy, a nice eBay, no this is Amazon, a nice Amazon special USB car charger kit, right? And my plan, my plan was to put this right here. I was gonna make a little panel and put them both right here. I thought that looked pretty good. I don't have a radio, right? Who who needs that? But after dink a little dinking around, I took I took one of the I took the second one, right? I took it out of the thing. Okay. And it fits right in the bezel. Right in the bezel of uh, where the cigarette lighter went. So, yeah, we're just going to take these wires and hook them up to this. Because this apparently converts 12 to 5. Uh, and we should have a perfectly working USB charger. Right? So, let's do that and uh, see if it works. The next day. Uh, good morning. I ended up having to finish... Uh, and install without you guys. I really gotta do something with that truck over there. But we got it all done. The problem was is there was a darn LED built into the charger. So every time uh, I plugged it in, the LED would just be on constantly. And since it was getting constant 12 volt from the old cigarette lighter, that wouldn't work. I didn't want to come out to a dead battery like after six months. So I ended up uh, taking a small relay, wiring it up, pushing it back in there, and uh, we're good to go. Now the charger comes on with the key, charges my phone, and uh, I'm officially ready to go to the No Name Nationals. Not really, we got a lot more to do. I gotta check the rear end gear, uh, grease, never did that. Got to, uh, uh, what else do I gotta do? I gotta finish the wiring mess inside. I gotta finish polishing it. Like, I only got like a third of it done. We gotta do the roof yet. We gotta do the fender. We gotta do the whole other side. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I know this video is kind of short and lame, but this is what I got. This is what I've been up to. I uh, hope all you other guys are ready for the No Name Nationals. Um, and I will see you there. So, get ready. Later, everybody.